All right, hello class. I had a question about 8B. So in this one, we are handing out 250 surveys, so they want to know how they should properly distribute it. Uh, so first off, you can add up all the customers to get a total here. And then using that total, we're going to calculate some percentages. So if I divide each of these by 3,754, and then I multiply all of that by 250, because we have that many surveys, this would give us the percentage of customers that are SUV or truck owners. And by multiplying it by the number of surveys necessary, uh, this is going to give us 57.14. If we do the same thing for each of these, so divide by the total and multiply it by 250, we're going to get 80.78. Uh, we're going to get 31.83. 65.88. And 14.72. Okay, so I kept a couple decimals uh, to start because we got to make sure this totals up to 250. So if I take just the whole number portion of each of these, I think that works out to 247. So we're three short. So we have to choose which ones are going to be most appropriate to add another survey. So looking at this one right here, I'm going to round this one up to 32. Our next largest would be here. So we're going to round this up to 81. And it looks like the economy car just narrowly beats out the sports car. So we'll round this one up to 66. This will stay at 14. And this one will stay at 57. And just to double check, this should work out to 250 surveys handed out. Okay, so find the percentage, uh, multiply that by the number of surveys, and then round accordingly. So you'll notice that I kept a couple decimal places, make the decisions at the end because it, you're not always rounding up. You can see this one, the sports car, even though it's 0.72, it didn't end up getting rounded up. All right, thank you.